What's up suckers? This is going to be my first review ever. Uh, there's a loud ass truck outside. A couple people on the Facebook ACBA group wanted me to do a review over the figure of myself. Look at this guy. This is incredible. I mean, who else doesn't want themselves in plastic form? <clears throat> Anyways, let's get on to how I made me. My head was made from a, as you can probably tell, Hello, fish friends. It was made from a DC Universe Aquaman because me and Arthur bear a strikingly <clears throat> mainly because me and Arthur bear a striking resemblance to each other. I sculpted a beard on myself and I repainted the skin tone cuz let's face it, I do not tan. I don't. I can't. It just doesn't work. Uh, made the hair a little more natural blonde, like me, a little dirty, a little dirty blonde, and uh, added my awesome facial hair coloring. But I wanted to keep myself kind of comic-y, so that's why I went with the DC Universe uh, head. I think their, uh, their sculpts are just awesome. I think they represent a comic very well. The shirt is from a deluxe angel figure from the Buffy the Vampire Slayer line. The coolest thing about those figures were that they had removable arms for a jacket or uh, a sleeve shirt arm. So what I did was I basically, let's see if you can do that, I just dremeled this little hole out here and this arm is actually from a Battlestar Galactica figure. I think it's actually from a lady just because she had smaller arms and in this scale it just works so I've got lady arms I also sculpted a little pooch right here on the stomach see a little pooch a little pooch the shirts all ruffled and messed up because that's how I roll I'm all unkempt uh, actually I've lost about 20 pounds since I made this figure so maybe I should make a new one uh, uh, this part from here on though is actually a Beast Boy, a DC Universe Beast Boy, mainly because it already had hair sculpted on it, and I made this when I wasn't, well, I was kind of lazy, so I didn't feel like sculpting hair on my arms. I mean, I got, look at that, some beastly hair going on here, so, uh, and I like to always roll up my sleeves, keep my sleeves rolled up, so I took a Moon Knight cape. And I actually just, uh, yes, I do bite my nails. So don't even leave that in the comments. Uh, I took a Moon Knight cape and cut out these right here, these little rubber. So now I've actually got dual articulation in my wrist. It bends here and it bends at the wrist. And I thought, God, this is dangerous. These pop right out. I have alternate hands somewhere because uh, I'm always not making a fist because that would just make me really weird. But um, there's not really a whole lot to it. I mean, these legs here came from these pant. Oh, oh, this right here. This is Captain America's crotch. So, remember that. It came from the two-pack from the Ultimate Nick Fury in World War II cap. And then from here, you can see I, dr I dremeled the hell out of these things. I don't do customs like this uh, all the time, but man, let me tell you, there's no paint rub in this. Jeez, look at that. Look how deep I dremeled this. That is, that's in there. But either way, no paint rub. And it looks good from the front. We're kicking. Uh, these leg, these legs are from a Spider-Man 2 movie, Doctor Octopus, and I sculpted on some little rips, some little rips on the knees, because I wear crappy jeans. And the bottom are actually the bottoms of the pants are from a X2 Nightcrawler. 
which Nightcrawler is my favorite character, but they just look like big old baggy jeans, and that's what I wear. Um, also, got these shoes here. I want to say these shoes came from an Anne O'Brien. They're either from an Anne O'Brien or from a Spirit figure. I'm pretty sure Anne O'Brien, because I don't think Spirit had a articulation in the toes. So, and I painted them gray, because I wear gray Converse. And here's the neatest thing, actually. My head is attached. Look at this. Ooh, a little shaky. Have you guys ever seen this before? Oh, wow, can your figure do this? You always complain, oh, my figure can't look down. This guy looks right down. What's, what's going down on? Oh, look at that. It's Captain America's crotch. What? Say what? I. This is my kind of own technique I've been using for a few years now. I glue a wire in the head so it gives you full range of articulation and it bends very nicely so I can see look at that what what's that what oh well, maybe I'll look over here no problem this is one of the coolest um, ways to attach a head also it's got a free floating kind of thing going on so it just I don't know it's got a real natural movement uh, I did this for a friend of mine uh, John I made a custom exodus for him and I did that for the head as well he had really long hair so it's just it's just a really nice way to put a head on here's a little size comparison for you uh, Steve Rogers and oh wait some of you don't have him yet all right, here I am next to the best Nick Fury figure ever. This is a horrible comparison, I bet you guys don't even have him yet. Here I am standing next to a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. You can see I'm about, I don't know, half an inch shorter, which ain't too bad. Standing next to Mr. Nick here. By the way, I totally painted the sides of his hair and uh, made this sweet little cigar just sculpted this cigar here rolled it up dotted the end just like so with the pin and then made this out of cotton as it flows in the wind it's realistic so there you have it that's kinda my review of me of myself I know this was a little unorganized as I don't really have much to complain about because it's me. I mean, anybody that's got to complain about themselves needs to really sit back and have a drink or have therapy or I don't know. I'm happy. I'm a happy person. If you like this though, I would gladly do more professional looking reviews. Um, just let me know in the comments. But first. Here's a really important question. This is my custom John Constantine, and I'm wondering, should I repaint his hair black and his trench coat black and just make a Pete Wisdom out of him? Reading more of the more recent John Constantine comics, he's beefed up, man. He's huge now, so I'm thinking about making this a Pete Wisdom uh, custom and just totally redoing my John Constantine into a kind of a buffer guy. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Light in here is awful. Hold on. Ooh. Hope you guys enjoyed my review of me. So, I've got a lot more to share in here. If you guys want to see reviews, I would love to do reviews personally on figures that people don't do a whole lot of reviews on. I could care less about doing a review over the newest Build-A-Figure. I mean, everybody's going to be doing that. I'd love to do reviews over my customs, see what you guys care about, what you guys want to see, and just let me know in the comments. I mean, just take a look over here. If you see anything that I should do a review over, just let me know. Seriously, I'll review a freaking Superhero Squad character. I don't care because I have plenty of them. These are all superhero squad and mini mates. 
I love mini mates. Look at that. They're all battling it out, all small. Look how tiny they are. Oh, but what's even smaller? Squinkies. Squinks. No, but seriously, let me know. I got Eagle Moss. If you like Nightcrawler, I got him. I got some Nightcrawler. I've got a uh, Aquaman. I got a beautiful builder figure, Giganta. Hello, lady. I got squats. Who doesn't like squats? I got gears, gears figures. Who doesn't like a good old Damon Baird? Old Beast Wars, I got like four. Let me know and I'll review it. I'll talk about it and I'll do more videos on whatever. I don't really care, I just love doing this. I love you, community.